you. All right, let's clap for Jasmine, everybody. So, heart disease. No one wants it. But sadly, heart disease is a leading cause of death for both men and women. This is the case in the U.S. and worldwide. More than half of the people who die due to heart disease are men. Medical professionals use the term heart, di heart disease for several conditions. Though there are many types, there are four very common types of heart disease, which would be coronary heart disease, stroke, peripheral arterial disease, and aortic disease. So today, I would like to talk about the main types of cardiovascular disease and what you can do to prevent it, since there are also three main types of prevention. So, there's no set way on how to fully prevent it, but you can help prevent it in multiple ways. For example, not smoking could really help, as well as exercising and following a healthy diet and improving your sleep health. Along with these five practices, the American Health Association recommends controlling your cholesterol, managing blood sugar, and maintaining blood pressure as additional factors for improving and maintaining cardiovascular health. So, while well, cardiovascular disease is a huge issue, as I stated before, there are multiple ways you can prevent it. According to a study from Harvard, there are three main ways professionals would look at prevention for heart disease. There is secondary prevention, primary prevention, and finally, primordial prevention. So to get a better idea of the three main types of heart disease and the three main types of prevention, I would like to start with a breakdown of the main types of heart disease and then the main types of prevention. So, it's so unknown and too many people die from it, but it can be somewhat prevented in a couple steps. And depending where you are on your health, heart health journey, you could, there could be a path for you to take to help prevent it or just slow down and reduce the risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. So, most of the time, heart disease runs in the family, so it's very common and it can even go undetected. So there are multiple ways of slowing down, and as I said before, there would be no smoking, making sure you have a good diet, exercising, and improving your sleep schedule. So, the main types that we have right here of heart disease, the first one will be coronary heart disease. That's when the arteries carry blood to the heart and muscles are narrowed and or clogged by it and blocked by clots. Chemicals and cigarette smoke cause the blood to thicken and form clots inside veins and arteries. Exercising could help you in many ways, but not only helping you look good and feel good, many studies also have shown that healthy diet can truly change your everyday life. It's, a little thrill it's really the little things that count. And then you have your sleep schedule. It's, in, it's important because when you're falling asleep or you are asleep, your heart beat begins to slow and your blood pressure drops, allowing for your heart to recuperate from the day's activities without sufficient sleep or interrupt, interrupted sleep. Your heart does not get a chance to recover, causing more strain and effort for days to come. Now that we have gone over the main points on how to reduce the risk of heart disease or slow down a possible heart attack, let's look at the main types of disease. Okay. So there are four very main common types of heart disease, which would be coronary heart disease, stroke, peripheral arterial disease, and aortic disease. While heart disease is dangerous, it can go unnoticed 40% of the time. People can even have heart attacks without even knowing. So the first one is going to be coronary heart disease. It's when your heart slows the supply of blood, nutrients, and oxygen to the heart. Then you have a stroke. It's sometimes called a brain attack. And this occurs when somebody blocks blood supply to part of the brain or when a blood vessel in the brain bursts. In either case, parts of the brain become damaged in that. A stroke can cause lasting brain damage, long-term disability, or even death. Peripheral arterial disease is when your arms and legs do not get enough blood supply and tend to go numb. And then we have diseases of the aura, which are serious and can be life-threatening in some cases. And they happen when the walls of the aura become weak and they bulge, split, burst, or block up. Arteries bulging or swelling are called aneurysms. Okay. And then heart disease can be a scary thing. But hopefully, if you or your family member has ever had the unfortunate luck of getting a heart disease or 
our preventing family remember that there are many things they can do to help prevent or just slow down the risk of a heart attack or a stroke.